Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are expecting their first baby, Kensington Palace announced on Monday. So will Meghan's mum Doria Ragland move to the UK to help out after the birth? The pregnancy was announced on Monday shortly after the Duke and Duchess arrived in Australia for a jam-packed tour including New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. Doria Ragland, 62, is said to be over the moon with the news as she prepares to welcome a new addition to the family. A statement was released by Kensington Palace after the announcement that said, M's Doria Ragland is very happy about the lovely news and she looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. Doria was in London just last month, visiting Harry and Meghan at Kensington Palace to support her daughter as she launched a charity cookbook with a group of women affected by the Grenfell Tower tragedy. In hindsight, it's likely Doria was one of the first people to hear the exciting news that a baby is on the way, with Meghan probably telling her face to face before she'd get home to California. Meghan and Doria are famously very close, and it'll be no surprise that Meghan will want her mum nearby as she embarks on motherhood. Royal sources have said Doria was spotted taking baby care classes in Pasadena, California, perhaps with a view to helping with the baby. Sources have also suggested it is likely the yoga instructor will relocate to London at some stage. In August, it was speculated that Doria was preparing to make the move to be close to her beloved Megs, as she quit her job as a social worker in L.A. A friend of Doria's said, I think this has been coming for a while. Even before the wedding, she told me how she misses her Megs so much she would do anything to be closer to her especially now Meghan will be starting a family of her own. There's no doubt the royal family would make Doria feel at home. They welcomed her with open arms when she visited for the royal wedding in May, with Prince Charles seen joking affectionately with her after the service. Doria was the only member of Meghan's family to attend the royal wedding in May, where she captured hearts as she watched her daughter become a duchess while choking back tears of pride. Harry is very fond of his mother-in-law, too. During the couple's first interview after their engagement, they spoke of spending time with Doria. Meghan said the couple had spent a lot of time with her, who is so much fun. Harry added, her mum's amazing. Doria's presence in London could help defer some of the negative publicity at the hand of Meghan's estranged father, Thomas Markle. Thomas, 74 has been a constant source of embarrassment for Meghan since the wedding, after he pulled out of walking her down the aisle at the last minute. Since then, he's given multiple controversial interviews to the British press, and has reportedly been completely frozen out by Meghan and the royal family. Thomas has reportedly said he believed she will be a great mom, but has not made an official statement as it emerged he found out about the pregnancy through a royal aide before the public announcement. Meghan Markle sparked pregnancy rumors last month at the 100 Days to Peace Gala when she stunned in a blue Jason Wu number, which appeared to show a baby bump, but according to a relationship expert a royal baby is not on the horizon for quite some time. Speaking in an exclusive interview with The Express.co.uk, Tracy Cox, a body language and relationships expert, claimed Meghan and Harry are still enjoying the honeymoon period and will not bring a royal child into the world until at least 2021. The revelation may come as a shock for royal fans, who are eagerly awaiting the news of a royal pregnancy. When asked if Meghan could end up expecting this year, Ms. Cox told Express.co.uk, not yet surely, give them two seconds without having to rush up the royal baby. She has a long time. I don't think so much pressure is on them as much as William and Kate. Especially since Kate is producing enough babies to keep everyone happy. She added, I expect Meghan's pregnancy in two or three years at least. According to Ms. Cox, the reason for such delay is because the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex are not at that stage of their relationship yet as they are still getting to know each other. Ms. Cox said, Anyone looking at them can tell they are absolutely smack bang in the middle, they are infatuated, they are at the lust stage, they are that wonderful stage everyone wants to stay at. Etiquette expert Liz Brewer also believes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will wait before having a baby. Speaking to Yahoo, Ms. Brewer said, 
he wants a family, but they're a young couple, embarking out on life, they don't actually have to have a family right now. What they want to do is they want to get involved in the world at large, in the commonwealth, she wants to do what she's doing. Echoing M's Cox, she added, I think the plan is to wait at least a year, maybe longer, before getting pregnant. Meghan and Prince Harry are set to embark on a 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, Tonga and Fiji in the incoming days. Another reason why the royal couple might wait to bring a royal baby into the world is because according to the International Association for Medical Assistance for Travelers there is currently evidence of ongoing Zika virus transmission in Fiji and insists pregnant travelers should postpone travel to this country. The NHS warning for women trying to get pregnant states, it is recommended that you avoid becoming pregnant while traveling to an area with high or moderate risk of Zika virus transmission, and for eight weeks after you return home. It is also recommended that you take folic acid supplements for 28 days before trying to get pregnant. If your male partner has traveled to an area with high or moderate risk of Zika virus transmission, you should use effective contraception to prevent pregnancy and condoms during vaginal, anal and oral sex to reduce the risk of sexual transmission. On Wednesday, the Duchess of Sussex was spotted wearing an 85 pounds gold ring from the brand's mantra collection, and there's a touching meaning behind the statement piece. Miss Oma's mantra range was curated around the concept of giving, well-wishing, empowering and self-love and features a selection of engraved rings, necklaces and pendants. Meghan's ring, the open-heart signet piece, represents love, passion and friendship and should be worn close to the heart. The 18-CT gold ring also features a white topaz which is said to enhance creativity and individuality. According to Crystal Benefits, the stone reduces stress, brings clarity in communication-related problems, and, brings about relaxation and happiness. Megan, who was also spotted in Miss Oma's 75-pounds beaded leaf bracelet yesterday, wore the ring on her right-hand ring finger, which is also said to have significance. Wearing a right-hand ring is believed to celebrate independence, personal victory and femininity. According to the jewelry editor, the 1920s concept that a ring worn on the right hand says me while the left hand represents we still resonates with women today. 37-year-old Megan has previously been spotted wearing Miss Oma's 59 pounds double arrow ring, which was mistakenly thought to symbolize H for Harry, and their interstellar ring worth 45 pounds. The royal has also previously worn their gold bar engravable necklace, which retails at 115 pounds. Earlier this week, we told you Meghan Markle wore a 4,780 pounds outfit including Hugo Boss leather skirt and Kate Middleton approved nude heels on Sussex Strip. We also revealed Meghan Markle's most recent ex-boyfriend Corey Vidiello announces the arrival of first baby. And we explained how you can get married at Kensington Palace without joining the royal family. There's no denying that Duchess Meghan is a style icon, but her latest look could suggest more than just good fashion sense. In fact, some people are speculating that the way Meghan has worn her hair at recent royal engagements means she's actually pregnant. That would be one way to make a dramatic reveal. For her last few public appearances, Meghan has worn her hair down and straight, a departure from her usual flowing waves and low bun. While the new style looks stunning on the 37-year-old, it's come at a time where rumors are rife around whether she's pregnant, and this only fuels them. The reasoning? Kate Middleton has previously changed her hairstyle right before she's announced her pregnancies, with thoughts that the change in style on top will draw attention away from the rest of her body, and more specifically her growing tum. What's more? Kate's sister Pippa Middleton also employed the technique before her baby announcement, exchanging her longer tresses for a lob haircut. This seriously thickens the Is Meghan Pregnant? plot. It's not the only hint we've heard that the Duchess of Sussex might be expecting. Earlier in September, TV psychic Sally Morgan predicted that Meghan would be pregnant before the end of the year. 
While some may choose not to believe it, Sally does have some credibility to her former predictions, she correctly called the genders of Wills and Kate's three children before they were born. Spookily, she also predicted that Megan wouldn't walk down the aisle with her mother, Doria, at her wedding. Megan indeed ended up walking down the aisle with Charles. Megan's clothing choices of late have also had people questioning whether she's hiding a growing bump. Earlier this month, the Duchess attended a gala concert named 100 Days to Peace wearing a blue Jason Wu dress with strategically placed ruffles down the front. Furthermore, this week she wore a Pepla Mosca de Laurenta blouse, a popular style for pregnant women. Whether she's pregnant or not at this very minute is anyone's guess, but we know that the royal newlyweds are definitely keen to start a family, Harry said it himself in their official engagement interview. With all of this in mind, we'll be on high royal bump watch alert, stay tuned.